Hey there. So this is going to be a quick one, a short video. I'm just kind of chilling this uh, Sunday evening and looking through my old stuff that I have and found this photogrammetry portrait of me from 2018 or something like that. Uh, I believe it was in Norway. And for the longest time, I had no idea what to do with it, right? I just have it. That's cool, I guess. Um, and now I think I... I figured out what, what, what I can do with this. So this is going to be not a tutorial, but rather, uh, but rather uh, just a workflow, a really quick one of me messing around with, with me, right? <laughs> and then and, and testing out the functionality of, eesh, Jesus, functionality of Rhino 7 uh, in the meanwhile. So I'm just going to kind of open up Grasshopper and I'm, I'm basically just going to investigate a new tool that came out uh, that is called Tri Remesh, this tool right here. So it's Triangular Remesh. Um, and I, what I want to do is I want this guy to become 3D printable, but it's a problem. It's a big problem right here. And also like there's a bunch of, a bunch of stuff that, that I have issues with. So I need to clean all of that crap up and then maybe only then will I be able to 3D print my head. Anyway, so let me first uh, split this joint mesh. And this is like 300,000 uh, 300, vertices. So it's, it's a pretty, pretty big mesh. But seems to be doing quite well, uh, quite well in terms of splitting. Um, so now I'm left with, what, uh, 274. So a few, a few vertices were deleted, and I will reference it in as my nope, as my mesh in here. It's fine if I lose uh, set one mesh. It's fine if I lose. Um, my like not material, but uh, textures for this mesh. But I really don't want to lose um, the, the the overall shape. Like too too much of the of the detail. I don't want to lose that. Uh, so I have my mesh here. Um, I will create a bounding box around it, or maybe we can do uh, WBV for vertices. Uh, so we get a bunch of points, and I can can I do convex hull? Oh Jesus, no, I can't. Or or wait, oh no, convex hull is like the <laughs> God damn it, uh, convex hull is um, a two D, two D, two D, two D. So there's no real way of how I can. Okay, fine. Fine, we will do a bounding box and just hope for the best. best. Or what, what is bounding volume? Whatever. Let's do what, what we know works. Bounding box, convert it into a B-rep and plug that one into geometry. And now it's going to think a bit. That's fine. It's done thinking. And this is the output that I, that I get, right? So what it does, it basically creates this uh, bounding box geometry and it wraps it on, back onto the mesh geometry, right? Uh, so what I need to change now is that bottom part is, is just not working for me. Let me clear values, show. Let's see if there's like stuff that I can get rid of that it's a bit more operative. Should be better. Uh, set one mesh. Okay. Still seems like it's, it's breaking, but uh, we will take a closer look with once we have tested it out with more iterations. Or not more iterations, but with big, bigger resolution, 0.2. Uh, what's the output? It's not an invalid mesh. It is a valid mesh. Uh, so what I'm going to do... Hmm. Do 
we want that amount of resolution? Maybe we don't. 0.3. I think this is good enough. I don't want to see too much of my face, uh, too much of the details. So we get the output, which is a mesh that's perfect, and we can. Um, we'll need to clean that up though. But uh, before we do that, I can make a mesh dual. Okay, dual mesh. Yeah, uh, Viverber's dual mesh. So I just create uh, this this kind of a dual shape. Uh, every triangle becomes a hexagon. Blah blah blah. And I will explode it like that. And I'm thinking of maybe I can just bake it out here as a group. All of these uh, curves are right now exploded. And I kind of want to fix this because this is just bad. So I will ungroup 11,000 curves, huh? Good enough. I don't need it to be precise. I don't need it, all of them to be hexagons. That's fine for me. So this is the output that I get. And I like it. I like the output. Except this guy. This guy can, can go and become something better. Cell dupe. Delete. So I, I just deleted the duplicates. I don't want any. And I, I'm thinking of kind of... Let's do a bounding box on this. How big do I want the head to be? Um, scale. I'll maybe scale it up to like 80 millimeters, something like that. And then all of these curves, just another one, CRV. But one curve, <laughs> this is not one curve. This is 4,700 4, of these uh, curves. And I wonder, like multi-pipe, will it just completely destroy my computer? If I try to do multiply on this, I probably should kind of test it out. Okay, let's clear values. Let's set multiple curves just, just on, on the forehead. Oh, huh. that's reasonable, right? So let's see uh, the options here. That's uh, one millimeter, right? I believe it's one millimeter node size. No, it's 0 0.5. Uh huh. Maybe that's fine. Yeah, let, let's use that. Uh, size points and offsets, thread size, segments, think angle, cube fit. Yeah, all of that is fine. So I'll just kind of YOLO it. Set multiple, all of it. All of it. Let's just see. Huh. Uh, wait, maybe not. Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. It works it works it works okay so i have my shape right here um, and it's a sub d object so i will now convert it sub d mesh from sub d that because i want to 3d print this right so i don't really care about anything else density uh, two um yeah two is fine Bake, default, okay. Take the mesh. Hello, mesh. One closed mesh. So cool, huh? That's me as a lattice structure. So, you know, I'm using my own face, uh, but you can use an my ear is gone now, but you can use anything and create these kind of lattice structures. Uh, since these are equilateral triangles, uh, it's going to make equilateral um, hexagons, polygons, not, not necessarily hexagons.
this should have been something like a you know pretty small little project but i ended up spending like six hours on it and for what just for this this little lattice structure of my head let's let's zoom it into this bad boy right here you can see it you can kind of tell you know that it's it is my head that it is me but i don't know like these videos are starting to, to become pretty weird maybe some of you will find it useful at least the structure itself is pretty pretty great i like it was it worth it i'm not sure not sure at all